Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how to make our QTI plots prettier so for, to do this I'm going to use one of our previous examples so usually I like to start by removing the grid because I like to keep my plots with a blank background so we're going to go ahead select um, first we're going to do the horizontal axis we're going to select right click and uh, we're going to do two things here first we're going to unselect this option show grids and again right click hide axis because usually we like to keep only the axis on the left and on the bottom so we're going to do exactly the same with the axis on the right right click show grids right click hide axis so now to keep the square of my plot we are going to go ahead and again select the axis right click properties we are going to go to general select canvas frame we can ch change the thickness so let's do three and we can also change the thickness of the major and minor ticks so let's do in this case 20 and 15. we can apply now if we want to um, change the thickness of our major and minor ticks we go to axis and in the bottom and left we are going to here bottom thickness three and same with the left so three apply uh, so now we want to modify the scale we go to the option scale let's start with the in this case by default we have major ticks eight major ticks and four minor ticks i think this um setting works just fine for me for the case of pressure and then in the bottom we can change this from 0 to 1 because it's a composition uh, in this case I'm going to use the option of a step and uh, I will do an, an a step of 0.1 and minor ticks for minor ticks are it's also okay so apply um, okay now we can go ahead and, and play with the um, font style and font size i'm going to keep the font style that is by default and let's play with this let's do 20 for the titles and we can we only need to select and, and go ahead here on top and increase so same here we select and increase here 15 we can do here and 15 here so to change the titles we can just select, right click properties or on, only with a um, fast double click. So in this case, we can just add the units. In this case, it's going to be bar, apply, okay. And then we can also change the title. Double click fast, let's do P versus S. And again, select and let's increase to 25. Um, the increase 25. We can always make this bigger. So finally, um, I'm going to remove this because we can just go ahead, uh, right click, delete, or only select and use the option on the keyboard, delete option. In the, on the keyboard so finally we are going to change the thickness of our curve so double click fast uh, on our curve select the curve and here we can we can change the style of the line we can change the white i'm going to do three the color in this case i'm going to keep it black the symbol also let's do eight in the size we can also change the styles let's do a square and apply close close and that's it so here now we have um i think a much prettier plot that we can present in our homeworks our papers and any other academic purpose so that's it